Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The seal of prophetic approval cannot be forged. A commentary on verse 40 from Surah Al Baqarah by Shaykh Muhammad Fawzi Al Karkari, Qaddas Allahu Sirrah, from April 19th, 2021. يا بني إسرائيل اذكروا نعمتي التي أنعمت عليكم وأوفوا بعهدي أوف بعهدكم وإياي فارهبون O children of Israel, remember my favor wherewith I favored you and fulfill my covenant and I shall fulfill your covenant and be in awe of me. We always say that when describing the light of God, we can do no better than to describe it as he does himself. We also remind others that speaking of God's favor is part and parcel of belief. Now, God's self-disclosure is always changing. When he discloses himself to you one way, he will never repeat it exactly the same way. You might say that you always see the planet in the same way. But that's the universal fourfold likeness of the light of the heavens and the earth. What we are speaking of here are the derivative self-disclosures that come to you, which differ in each instant. The fourfold likeness is the one that must never leave you for an instant. The niche in which is a lamp, in which is a glass, looks like an official stamp. It has a circle with another inside it. And then inside that one is written the name of the director, while the name of the institution is written around the edge. The niche, the lamp, the glass, and finally the planet, where is written Muhammad is messenger of God, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The niche is the heavens and the earth and the self-disclosures of God therein. That is the seal of the Prophet ﷺ and your heart must be the clean page upon which that seal of approval is stamped and then kept pristine until you meet your Lord. The seal cannot be forged or altered and so when you describe your visions you must stay within the seal. Look after your document, whose name is your name and whose contents are your deeds, and upon which is the Prophet's seal, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which you received from his house. Nowadays, some people like to obtain a written document of permission from their sheikh and have it stamped by the local authority, but that's a worldly document which you cannot take with you into the grave. But you can take the Prophet's seal with you, for it is a divine seal and not a human one, and it will transform your grave into a meadow of paradise illuminated by the resplendent planet in the center of its lamp. As for handwritten documents of permission, we do not put much stock in them. Permission, even, is for the udhan, it's for the ear after all. The mosque announces the prayer by calling an azan for you to hear, not sending it out in writing. In the passages of Surah Al-Baqarah about Sayyidina Adam alayhi salatu salam that we've been examining up to this point, the azan is given by Adam. He calls the hearts of God's servants to knowledge of God. Likewise, our master Abraham alayhi salatu salam called for the hajj and we still answer his call, though he's in the seventh heaven. That is what permission is. It's a sealed document in the higher realm, not a piece of paper or an official document issued by an ephemeral institution. God's folk consider paper to be mere red tape. They call it, quote, transmission from the dead to the dead. Our permission comes from the living who never dies. Allah says in houses, which are hearts, that God has allowed to be raised and wherein his name is remembered. Seek out your permission and the seal of approval for your heart and then tell us what you have learnt 
of the names and attributes of God. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama sallaita ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama barakta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim fil alamina innaka hamidun majid.